In the world of industrial cleaning and maintenance, few tools have the power and ease of use that pressure washers do. From versatility to practical insights on choosing the right model, this comprehensive video is your key to understanding the efficacy and efficiency of pressure washing. A pressure washer is a piece of equipment that uses pressurized water to efficiently clean different surfaces, including concrete, asphalt, brick, stucco, and wood. Pressure washers are made up of several essential components. These include a power supply, pump, boiler, hose, trigger handle, spray wand, and nozzle. All of these components combined are what enable the pressure washer to effectively remove stains. A pressure washer is so effective at removing stains because the high water pressure enables it to dislodge tough dirt and grime. The cleaning power of a pressure washer can be measured in PSI, which stands for pounds per square inch, and GPM or gallons per minute. Think of PSI as a measure of power and GPM as a measure of water flow. There are three types of pressure washers, light duty, heavy duty, and industrial. Each of these types are determined by the max PSI and GPM. Light duty washers are designed for residential use, though they're more effective at completing most ordinary commercial cleaning tasks. These models cap out at around 1900 PSI and up to two GPM, making them good for light cleaning tasks and small jobs. For example, if your facility's front walkway is dirty or muddy after a recent rainfall and you want to clean it off, a light duty pressure washer is all you'll need. Heavy duty pressure washers are designed for commercial use and cap out at about 2000 PSI and three GPM making them effective for more demanding cleaning tasks and larger job sites. For example, if you're performing periodic maintenance on the outside of your facility and want to clean off the buildup and dirt and grime on the outer walls, a heavy duty pressure washer is the way to go. Industrial pressure washers, on the other hand, are far more powerful than light or heavy duty models, capping out at 7,000 PSI and going up to about 5.5 GPM. These pressure washers are designed to tackle cleaning tasks with the highest degree of efficiency. Take the last cleaning example we looked at. Performing periodic maintenance on the outside of your facility, an industrial pressure washer will complete that task in half of the time with greater cleaning efficiency than the heavy duty model. Now that you have a better idea of what a pressure washer is, let's take a closer look at the key components and what they do. Understanding the role of each component is essential to making sure you get the right machine for your business's needs. We'll start with the power source. Pressure washers can be powered by electricity or gasoline. The decision between electric and gas affects how powerful the pressure washer is, with gas models usually being stronger than electric ones. Electric pressure washers typically cost less than gasoline models, run quieter, and are lighter in weight. The trade-off is that they are limited in portability due to the power cord and are typically less powerful than gasoline models. Gasoline pressure washers are ideal for remote areas without electricity, offer better mobility, and are better suited for tough jobs because they're more powerful on average. The trade-off with the gasoline models is that they require more maintenance, need gasoline on hand to run, and are generally more expensive to purchase and maintain. Next, let's look at what the pump does. In a pressure washer, the pump performs the essential task of drawing water from external source and pressurizing it through mechanisms such as pistons or plungers. Ultimately, the pump's role is to deliver a powerful pressurized water to the nozzle. This is what enables pressure washers to effectively remove dirt and grime from various surfaces. Moving on from the pump, let's take a look at the boiler. Some pressure washers are capable of using hot water for their cleaning tasks. These pressure washers need to have a mechanism in place to heat the water. Sometimes electric pressure washers are able to heat the water, but most of the time a diesel fired heating unit is necessary to achieve high temperatures. Note that both electric and gas powered units can be used with a diesel fired heating unit and that the diesel is separate from the pressure washers main power supply. The next component after the boiler is the hose. Designed for flexibility and maneuverability, Pressure washer hoses transport water that has gone through pressurization from the pump to the nozzle. Hoses come in various lengths, offering options for increased reach in larger areas or increased control for tight spaces. The pressure washer hose is what connects the motor to the trigger handle. The trigger handle is the handheld part of the pressure washer that connects to different spray wands. Besides its functional role, it serves as a safety feature designed to shut off if dropped by the operator. Our next feature, the spray wand, is attached to the end of the trigger sprayer. Pressure washers come with a different spray wand depending on how powerful the unit is. 
Spray wands on electric machines are typically made of aluminum or similar metal and are suitable for general and light cleaning. The wand of a gasoline powered model are usually constructed with higher grade materials like stainless steel, offering more power for heavy duty tasks. The last feature we will talk about is the nozzle. The nozzle is part of a pressure washer that determines spray pattern and pressure. Various nozzles cater to different cleaning tasks ranging from high pressure nozzles for jobs that re require abrasive cleaning or to low pressure nozzles for jobs that only require a gentle rinse. There are also specialty nozzles. For example, some nozzles are designed with soap applications in mind, ensuring a comprehensive clean. Another example includes soap enabled nozzles, which allow operators to adjust between higher and lower pressure to control soap delivery. All of these components come together to make for a piece of equipment with incredible cleaning power. I hope this video helped you gain a better understanding of what a pressure washer is, the essential components, how it works, and the surfaces one can be used on, and the difference between light duty and heavy duty and industrial models. If you're still looking for further information about the ins and outs of pressure washers, or if you have any questions after watching this video, please reach out, reach out to one of the experts at Imperial Dade. Our team of janitorial equipment specialists have over 30 years of knowledge and experience fueling their expertise. Contact an Imperial Dade facility near you to set up a free evaluation of your facility and its janitorial equipment. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below.